Hi, everyone. It is unplanned Facebook Live. However, I thought it would be great. <clears throat> it would be great to go live on Facebook and talk about upcoming boot camp, what to expect. My apologies, it's either my floor or mannequin went wonky. So something to sort it out for the future. Okay, tonight, tonight I want to bring clarity. What to expect from my boot camp on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. How long it will last. Hi Dorothy, great to have you here. Thank you so much for coming to all my Facebook lives. Okay, so I'm talking about my wonky um, floor or wonky mannequin. So please excuse, I've just noticed. Hi, Pam. Uh, hi, we, hi, everyone. Hi, Cheryl. Great to have you all here. Thank you so much. And what I'm saying, I'm just going live and uh, talking about upcoming boot camp where we're going to create something like this. I went pink. I'll just start to love pink, never love pink or blue. So now I wear blue and love pink. <laughs> okay, boot camp. Right, let me to share schedule of boot camp. Okay, what exactly going to happen? And let's see if I can do that. Yes, okay. It is three days, but literally, I'm not going to be three days with you. Each day will take approximately one hour. It all depends how many questions we're going to have. So you can see schedule. Day one, 17th of November. Let's master felt making layout. We're going to do layout. Let me to put focus on my one key mannequin. We're going to create layout for this scarf. And we're not going to use traditional, traditional uh, layout. So we're going to look uh, how to create embellishment. We're going to do layout of uh, wool. Are we going to create layout for our tassels? So this is day number one. Also, of course, I am here to answer questions. I don't think I've done a very good job. It's my first boot, felt making boot camp. And I'm not sure I'm trying to look better way for next time. Or maybe it's okay. Maybe it works. Because what I've done, I created on my um, felt with Lena online classes system in Thinkific few videos. Literally, I created area, I created class where the videos with materials, tools, and materials preparation for this bootcamp. However, if you've not done materials, don't worry because later on I explain exactly how we're going to work. Okay, so you can access materials and tools and tools the same tools you use for your felt making practice and don't forget magic sponge <laughs> if you have hi kathy great to have you here hi juliet palm is here so great to hear have you here okay um i have questions so i will ask i will answer questions when i finish presentation okay so day two this is where juice is it's tassel making and felting. Okay, I had so many questions. I had so many questions. How do you make your beautiful tassels? And I also had so many objections from making tassels. It is too much. It is too difficult. It does involve a lot of work. Of course, anything beautifully felted, anything beautifully created does involve work. But with right tools, with great attitude, with a glass of gin and tonic or wine, in front of TV or listening music, everything is possible, everything is achievable. And that's what we're going to create 
At day two, we're going to felt this cuff. Of course, it's going to be pre-recorded. I'll talk about this later. And we're going to do tassels. I love to make tassels. I just, I think tassels, it just adds so much character to our garments. I just love them. And from my online classes, you notice I have a few classes with, well, lots and lots of tassels. So on day three, we're going to do falling. We're going to do finishing. And finishing, it's something sometimes we rush through and forget. That is one of the important stages. Just to enjoy that finishing. And obviously, we will close bootcamp and we have more questions. Okay, this is this is the program for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to remove and talk more. Oh, sorry. You see, I'm still learning StreamYard, but it's great. I now can stream to Facebook videos. I can stream uh, presentations rather than talking. Okay, now, so we're going to meet, as you've seen, 17, 18, 19, 7 o'clock UK time. This is where we're going to watch pre-recorded videos because if, you know, you do felt making, if I do live, you will be watching me doing 1,000, 2,000 rolling. You know, that's why I don't do live. Uh, I pre-record. Trying as much as possible to remove repetition. Okay. So you're going to watch video. We're going to ask questions. Okay. We're going to have a discussion. If you prepared materials and if after this watching first part, you're ready to do great. This is great. You can go and start to create and and prepare questions for Friday. And another reason, another reason I created this class in my Thinkific system, because this is where you can ask questions as well. And this is where I can answer. Okay. And links you will get recordings, you will. After we finish session, you will get recording with questions and answers because I think this is better. And then I will send, everyone who registered will get link, okay, to create further, to make this scarf or make something different based on this technique. And Christmas is coming, you know, craft fairs come in and that little beauty which can't be worn so many different ways great to have on your stall or as a present or just make for yourself okay so that's a program so that's how we're going to work every day if if you want watch me live and working great but don't forget for example, video uh, for uh, Monday for layout, 30 minutes. You take longer to do layout than 30 minutes. Literally, I have to remove another two hours probably from the video. Okay. So this is how we're going to work. And, um, and really, again, the reason I created this class in Thinkific, and I will put all links there. And if you open account, great. Or if you en enroll for free, ask questions after this bootcamp. Okay. And I want to seek your creations, right? And share as well in our Facebook group. We have two, one for students and one for all felt making enthusiasts. That's how I now stream into two felt, felt making groups and my page. Okay, now I'm ready to answer questions. Please ask questions now. I'm going to send link by email tomorrow. I'm creating link. 
And if you notice by this uh, stream, I probably created so many Facebook lives uh, rather than in each group, I think I created three in each group, it's clicking everywhere. <laughs> I'm learning. So, okay. Um, Pam asking, so I will not be making it until day two. You can't start to make together with me. Like I said, it would take half of day, probably. You know how long layout takes. So you can watch, ask questions. You can go, if you prepared your materials, you can go to your felt making table and start to make. Nothing stop you this. Okay. Okay. Uh, we both like asking. I really like. Uh, how, I really like how you're doing this. It makes me feel like part of a Felton family. Great. I, that's why I'm doing this, and I am planning to do more. Let's say this is training for me. Don't tell anyone. But we have to start somewhere. Okay. Uh, we both are asking, are the tassel on your lovely top dyed by dipping into dye or are two colors of wool joined together? Two colors of wool joined together. That's how I done and you will see on the video. You can join as many colors uh, using different colors of wool you want. You can dip in dye, but this is a danger. The dye could go to your main scarf. That's a, such a jewelry job. Probably, yes, you can, but then all these ends need to put in, in some clink film to protect all your scarf. But it's a great idea, really good idea, I like that. So uh, any other question? Smashing, thank you. Any other questions while I'm here? No more questions? Okay, I think I can see uh, some questions. No, I cannot see any more questions. Okay. Okay, Letty, hi. Um, have you just said, uh, okay, so glad to finally have found you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, felt making been my passion and uh, it just, uh, survival for me cancer survival strategy 12 12 years ago so okay i'm asking will your technique be stretchy are you asking if my scarf is stretchy let's check so it is quite um how can i this is how it behaves right so this is um So it is, it is soft, it is quite, I don't know, it's felt is not as uh, stretchy as uh, fabric, I mean, can be. So I'm just, so it is, um, it is stretchy enough, but not as stretchy as uh, knitting, knitted uh, fabrics. Okay, any other questions before I go and check my daughter doing homework she's glad i'm here so okay so tomorrow i'm sending i have another question i can see tomorrow i'm sending link via email tomorrow also i'm putting the link in that class this class in Thinkific, okay? And please bear in mind that every day link will be different. Nothing to do with me. This is how technology works. So please, every uh, I will create link for and send for Thursday class. Then I will share link for Friday class on Thursday and link for Saturday on, on Friday. If that does not work, let me know. I can create all three links, but I'm afraid it could be mixed up which link to enter. Okay. So, Kathy asking question Will I be able to use cotton scrim for my first attempt? Yes, of course you can. 
Right. In terms of fabric, when we're talking about cotton scream, you probably know I like to use medical gauze. I don't think I have here. I don't. Sorry. I'll I'll bring on Thursday. It's just like medical uh, bandage. It's very fine. It's great to use. Also, you can use uh, chiffon. Chiffon, I would suggest three mil, not five. Okay. And obviously, as you know, my favorite is Margulan Rarified. You cannot beat that fabric. But so this is, I hope it answers, uh, Cassie, your question. Let me ask him, there will be a list of materials needed. Sorry it, if it, this was already asked. Okay. I did say, uh, Kathy, uh, sorry, who asked Letty? Letty, I'm going to write your name and hopefully I have your email. Where's the pen? And then um, I'll check because what happening, what, this is what I explained. I created this class as an online class in my system, Thinkific Felt with Lina where materials well i can tell materials now if it helps where materials tools and materials preparation however i'll tell materials now okay so what did i use let me to get another scarf so this is another scarf okay so for this scarf look what i used uh, Around one meter sixty centimeters of margolan rarefied silk. The template. This is a template. Okay. Look. This is a template. Lens one hundred sixty centimeters with forty five centimeters. Okay. So this, I use template, I just put underneath bubble wrap, then it's easier to do layout. When I'm talking about template, it's resist, some, some resist material, like underflow laminate, okay? So, so you, then you have margolan silk or chiffon or cotton gauze, right? Marina wool. I prefer to use 18 and a half, 19 macrons. Use what you have. But then if you using 21, 23 macrons, it's layout. I mean, layout is here quite fine. Okay. Really fine. So make sure layout is fine. Then prepare some old t-shirts and then cotton yarns. Cotton knitting yarns, thicker is better. Why cotton? Because then it does give you beautiful texture. Okay, that's, and uh, you probably cannot see here, optional, I don't know if you can see, probably not. This is optional, any fiber, either viscose, tusa silk, or bamboo. For laminating, on this side, right? The rest techniques you will learn Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I hope it helps. And Letty, I'll check if you are on my system. And if you are, I will be happy to add this class to you, or I'll send you a email with the link. Any more questions? Okay, a wood eight mil habatai uh, silk work. Okay, it's not going to work for this technique. Uh, it will give you different, totally different texture. Thicker silk, more texture. Okay, I hope it answer. However, however, nobody said don't use. I probably would not use embellishment. It will be beautiful scarf. It will have slightly different textures. So if you have 8 mil habatai, use it. Okay. Uh, do we need the leaves cut out for Thursday? Not necessary. 
because you will see it doesn't need to be leaves it could be anything else any other shapes like i said kathy um you welcome to create with me but you will not be in, in that speed with me because this is pre-recorded video all repet repetition was removed okay hi tammy what i forgot to say how much wool you need you will be surprised that such a small scarf i mean for base i had only 15 grams of wool okay that's how fine for tassels because your tassels needs to be to have weight okay for tassels i had more wool i need to check i think in total 50 grams went on this cuff in total either 50 or 60 it is in my description so in sorry in materials in text i put how much any other questions i'm just looking i cannot see any more questions in this case i'm going to finish uh, uh, this live Facebook live I will be sending link link to our uh, first Thursday session tomorrow and please watch on Thursday link for Friday okay so thank you so much thank you so much for your attention thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on Thursday Okay, quickly, I think, no, no more questions. Thank you, Pav. Have a good evening too. Okay, see you on Thursday. Thank you so much for your attention. I really hope it's been helpful. All the best. Goodbye.